Hey everybody out there, Danny G, Regenimex.com video. So we're gonna go over some interesting subject matter right now. We're gonna discuss ankle stem cells. They're at the forefront of the medical technology. Lots of buzz on the internet. You know, Joe Rogan had uh, probably, you know, arguably the number one scientist doctor in the world that deals with mesenchymal stem cells. Uh, his name's Neil Reardon. Actually, I'm gonna use some of his uh, his clips to hammer some points home here soon. But anyway, he runs the uh, Panama Stem Cell Institute. He had Mel Gibson on. I suggest you guys give those videos a watch. They're, they're you know, really good watch. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> Why these cells are great for an age management or for you know anti-aging program is that you know as you get older, the, the amount of cells that are dying, the degeneration rate is uh, you know is much more than the regeneration rate. So when you're a baby, you know through the end of your life, it, drastic changes in your stem cell response. Really, so I'm gonna put up a clip. Check it out. In a newborn, when we grow those cells up, you can start with one cell. At the end of a month, you have one billion cells. And a 35-year-old, you have 32,000 cells. And a 65-year-old, you have 200 cells. So if you need 1,000 cells and you only make 200, we've got a math problem. The regeneration, degeneration axis is tilted in favor of degeneration. So um, that's, that's why we do what we do. That's why what the cells that we use work so well, particularly in an in, in aging population. Scientists, uh, they found a way to be able to, you know, put in some, some helper bees, some, some worker medical signaler cells called mesenchymal stem cells. They get them from external sources, uh, placenta and um, cord blood, like so, you know, after birth is where you can get day zero fresh mesenchymal stem cells to harvest and culture. So the laws are a little bit behind in the States. Um, they're really not letting this go through. FDA is uh, you know, putting the kibosh on it, looking at it like new, new drugs and not making it very efficient to um, you know, get the cells out to the public. But you know, around the world, they've adopted some of the uh, practices in Canada, you know, lots of uh, parts of Asia. Singapore is, um, you know, in South Korea, they're like at the forefront. Uh, you know, Mexico, that's where I live, Puerto Rico, Mexico, and we actually have legislation in place here uh, that you're allowed to produce mesenchymal stem cells for public use, okay? It's a little bit convoluted, uh, what's what, but um, you can get in touch with me through regenomex.com and we can get into all the details and get all your hard questions answered if you're looking into mesenchymal stem cell therapy. But I'm just gonna put up a couple more clips and let uh, Dr. Neil Reardon hammer it home and uh, look to talk to you guys more at the end of the video, adios. MSC numbers go down with age <clears throat> at a depressing rate, um, meaning it depresses me at how few I have right now. Um, so there's, there's not only an age-related decline in the number, but there's an age-related decline in the fitness or the robustness of these cells. And, and, and these cells are the major, they are homeostasis for our bodies, right? They are what create homeostasis for, for the immune system, homeostasis for blood pressure, they, they are the major modulators of, of health. Hey guys, quick bonus feature, give you a glimpse into the biotech lab that I'm under contract with. So nobody's playing, right? These guys are making proper mesenchymal stem cells. I've got the license from the government to be able to use them on the public and I'm under contract with them. So the stem cells are more affordable than you think and we're a lot closer than Panama. Now this is something different. Uh, we do take care of the good procedures and the, uh, and the standards done by Cofepris because we have all our permits. And we take all the international procedures because we also are associated to the International Society of Stem Cells. What's called International Stem Cell Society. Uh, they are the persons who actually uh, decide which stem cells are allowed and which ones works and which ones doesn't. So we are part of that society. So they let us know uh, the new regulations, the new medical protocols. Hey guys, so to sum things up, what we've learned today, in part thanks to Dr. Daniel Reardon from the Panama Stem Cell Institute, um, I think we can all agree that it's a, it might be a beneficial idea to use mesenchymal stem cells, you know, not just for the wide spectrum of things that can be treated, you know, medical reasons, everything from autism to MS to spinal cord injury, you know, all types of autoimmune situations, but also just as some part of a, an age management or a health program as we get older. So if there's something that's interesting to you, you know, if, if things made sense, a lot of things rang home in this video, and if you're excited to, you know, get into the mesenchymal stem cells and, and experience the wonderful healing abilities of these things, you can definitely get a hold of me. It'd be my pleasure to answer your questions. Uh, check us out, regenimex.com, and I look forward to talking to you guys later. Adios. Regenimex, regenimex.com.